Hello, hello, hello! Fatsoid is here with Predator Plants. The deck that has more polarizations than Jaden Yuki does. Which is surprising. And we're gonna be... Uh, we also run the Egg... Sh the Imp Chain, or I think it's called Egg Jamps. Um, for the Fright Fur patchwork. It lets us get another Egg Jamp. And a polarization. We run only these two Egg Jamps in the entire deck. Uh, we're gonna go for an ultra polarization, which lets us fuse, and then it lets us summon back the cards we fused with. So you might be wondering, hey, why didn't you fuse again? I was getting notification that he had something, so I didn't want to fuse because I didn't want to uh, play into if he had a beer or something. So I was just like, you know what, I'll just end my turn right now. Uh, and I actually, now that we see it, it was the Iris Sword Soul that he didn't play. Alright, he's gonna go into this. You might be saying, hey, Fatsoid, you're gonna, you're gonna lose this game, right? This game's over for you. You're at 4k HP. It's donezo. It's over. Nope, it's not. Predator plant coming out, blocking the hit. This guy doesn't read, so he attacked it. Now it's dead. And boom, we get to get Predator planning. And you might be saying, huh, why are you getting that card? Well, I think it's going to be pretty useful against him. And I will show you why. Uh, what Predator planning does, it puts a Predator plant uh, counter on every card in the field. And it turns them into level 1s. And since his deck looks like they want to go into level 10s, that was the thought process there. Uh, I didn't realize how resilient this deck was, though, that he's playing in my defense. Um, but here we go. We're going to go into Starving Venom. Uh, I went to shift into the battle phase because he can only use this in the main phase. So he uses it, goes into this. I end up not going into the battle phase because I go into Thousand Eyes Restrict and then I go into Relinquish Anima because he placed it right across from me. And boom, now we're going to almost lethal him. We bring him down to 700. That is a close game. And you might be saying, hey, Fatsoid, you have this in the bag. Why are you showing this? I don't have it in the bag because he got a lot of cards off of uh, what he was doing. So now it's very scary. Now he's going to summon this. I'm trying to remember when I used my trap, but I definitely think I used it too early. I didn't realize this was going to special summon another level 10 out of his deck. Otherwise. I could have held the Predator planning for at least a little bit longer. And then he did this. So even if I if I used it right there though, uh, right here, it would have been fine. I think I was screwed regardless. I, I needed to read the cards. I wasn't reading. I'll be honest with you. But he can't attack this turn. So now we use this card to lower its attack by 500. And it's going to be a pretty anticlimactic climactic way we win this. Uh, because now we're just going to lower it with another 500. And Relinquish Enema is going to get the job done. Boom for 1,000. Now I know you guys like Dragon Maids. And this is against a Dragon Maid deck. Uh, he actually has a pretty strong uh, start against me. Um... Dragon Maid is definitely a deck I'll probably end up doing in the future. I end up maxiing him because I might as well get a free draw. And it makes a decision for him. Like, does he continue playing into this or... And it looks like he might continue end up playing into this. Yep, he does. He wants to go for Xion. And here it comes. Shio. Whatever. I don't know how to pronounce these people's names. You're going to notice I just mispronounce everything in this game. 
But here we go. He's going to activate that effect. I activate Maxi because when Shio uses his effect to go back to the extra deck, he also special summons. So that's two cards I can draw potentially this turn. So that's the reason why I did it. So he does his little shenanigans there. I'm going to use Lone Fire Blossom to bait out his... Yep, and he uses it immediately. I didn't want to use Predaplactus or uh, Preda Prime Fusion or anything like that. Actually, I can't even use Preda Prime Fusion right now. I didn't want to use Predaplactus, is pretty much. And then we're going to Monster Reborn because uh, Lone Fire Blossom is a once per turn for the card, not for the actual uh, name. So you, you can use it multiple turns, multiple times a turn. All right, so this is the com this is the combo you want to get out. By the way, it sucks that there's only you can only run one in the deck, but you want to summon Orifice unless you get this, and unless you get Ultra pol Polarization. And now we're gonna do Predator Plant Fusion, and you might be saying, "Hey, why are you doing this? That's fucking weird." And we're doing this so we can add a counter to Dragon Maid. We get infinite impermanence because we wanted to attack over without him bouncing it to hand. So we're just going to end so he doesn't go into the battle phase and bounce us back to hand. But now we can predator plant this. And each time it puts a counter on something. So anytime there's a counter on anything on the board, uh, it negates their effect. It's pretty crazy. So we're going to get instant fusion out of our deck with uh, Chimera's effect. And now we activate Preda Planning. So it's going to put a counter on everything on the board. Which means it also negates all their abilities. So I was actually thinking, I only have one in the deck. I was thinking about pumping this up to three. Like, this is an insane card. You just can multiple times a turn, like, just Dark Ruler no more of them. Unfortunately, he was able to find uh, Tiding, which is an answer to our Predator Plant Dragon. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but we do have this Predator Plant in the graveyard. So I'm not worried about him attacking over because I can kill this one at least. Uh, so he's going to go to another House Dragon. I was hoping he was going to attack with this one because this one would have a counter on it. And if you don't know... This Predator Plant, if you have a, uh, if they have a counter on it, I could special summon it by tributing a monster that has a counter, even if it's an opponent's monster. So that's what, how we would answer this. But we're gonna get Polymerization, Imp Chain. We're gonna activate Instant Poly. We know he has Tidying here, so he has to use Tidying. Um, but I use Predator Planning just to force the Tidying out. So when you fusion summon a monster, you can use uh, Planning. Yeah, from the graveyard, destroy a card. And he ends up not using that on the eyes restrict, which is stupid. Because now it lets me go back into uh, Drago. Which, remember, Drago can start negating cards. So now we have two big juicers. Uh, and I actually misplay here. I, I misplay here because uh, I'm pretty sure we could have gone for lethal here. There was a 100% aligned for lethal. By summoning Lone Fire Blossom, I would have had enough. Um, I I'm pretty sure we could have gone for lethal. I'm like ninety percent sure. I would have to look back at the footage to uh, see exactly what. Maybe I'll run it in the uh, the description, or maybe you guys can comment down below where I miss lethal here. Maybe I didn't miss lethal. Maybe I'm going crazy. All right, so he's going to, uh, I was actually getting a little nervous here when I was playing this because I was like, oh, no, he's going to, he's going to be able to, uh, get another Shio out. <sighs> Shio's pretty hard to deal with, too. Now, I'm a tricky, I'm a tricky son of a gun. There's a reason why I do the thing. He didn't attack, but... I'll sh explain why I'm a tricky guy. So I use Predator Plant, see if I can bait Shio, right? 
I can't bait him. He ends up summoning Nurse Dragon Maid, which is a fucking weird choice because I'm pretty sure he can summon, uh, whatever, House Dragon Maid. So I thought that was weird. So I just exile one of the cards. I'm trying to bait this card. And the reason I'm trying to bait it is so I can go into Verte. So I'm like, okay, well, this guy's not falling for anything. So we're going to go into Starving Venom Dragon. And, like, this guy's an idiot. Like, he let he just let me go into Starving Venom without any repercussion. Now he's going to counter the Starving Venom. But the thing is, Starving Venom is not a once-per-turn effect. And it gets to keep it destroy their shit. Now we're going to activate this. We're going to link him off into Anaconda. We use Anaconda's effect. And we're going to style on him by summoning uh, Greedy Venom. Because we are greedy. And boom, shakalaka. As you can see, this deck is pretty crazy and has a lot of fun combos you can do. Since we are running Super Poly, there is a lot of potential for just instantly winning the game by wiping out their board with it. Also, the Predipant Fusions, these guys right here, not this guy, these guys right here, straight powerhouses. I think Preda Planning overperformed and is extremely strong when paired with uh, Dr the Drago Fusion, this one right here, because when they have the counters on the monsters, it just negates the monster effects. So if you have Preda Planning as a trap on the field, you can pretty much Dark Ruler no more your opponent. So, honestly, I was thinking about bumping this up to three, but you guys can mess around with the list if you like. Uh, this is what I was using in the video, though. The best part of the deck is how fun it is and how since this deck isn't really played on ladder at all, your opponent won't know what the hell you're doing. The negatives of the deck are the best Predator Plant monster is limited to one, which is this one right here, Scorpio. And this is limited to one for some reason, but Eva or Block Dragon isn't. It just, it, it's really stupid. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, check out my video yesterday if you want to see my opinion on the ban list. Uh, we are also doing a giveaway on that video as well uh, that we'll be pulling tomorrow. The other negative of the deck is that there is, the other negative of the deck is there are games that you will just have a ton of polymerizations in your hand with nothing to poly and that's just the kind of the nature of the deck because the amount of polys we need to run in it because we have to have like a certain amount of polymerizations in the deck we have the super polys we got instant fusion we got ultra poly and like a lot of these cards are very reactive cards so if your opponent's just passing and doing nothing and you have some of these reactive cards in your hand you're kind of just sitting there and waiting for them to do something so that, that can be a little annoying at times too. But for the most part, I've never really ran into an opponent that just like straight up just kills you out of nowhere. Because we do run hand traps. We do have um, uh, this spread of plant that which will, will allow us to pr prevent us from dying from just like a massive attack or something like that. Uh, so we do have some answers. The deck is The deck has a lot of reactiveness to it. Uh, don't get don't get me wrong. You can be proactive like in going to Chimera and This card can do quite a bit you can go into Drago and this card can do quite a bit But for the most part well a lot of these cards are naturally just Reactive cards like you're not gonna instant fusion go into thousand eye restrict for no reason um, But it's a really good combo you where you can instant fusion go to thousand eye restrict Remove one of your opponent's monsters. Go into Relinquish Anima. Uh, Kaiju one of their the, the opponent's monsters into the uh, the the Anima targeting zone, and then now you have a twenty eight hundred beat stick on the field. So and you've removed two monsters that they control. So the deck has a lot of cool combos with it, and uh, it's it's pretty strong. I also love the fact that the deck does run Kaiju's because that means that we have significant answers to some of the top decks like Dragtron. I honestly wish I could have got a Dragtron match, but I haven't played against any, which is probably a good thing for my mental health. Uh, but ultimately, on paper, the deck should do well against the archetype as long as you draw 
either Super Poly or Kaiju. Now let's get into who won on Monday's gem giveaway. So if you won this gem giveaway, please email me at fatsoygames at gmail.com and we can figure out what platform you play on and see what we need to do from there. Now for today's giveaway, which will be pulled on Friday, uh, $25 worth of gems. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell and I'll see you all for tomorrow to pull Tuesday's winner. Now, bye. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a OD boy. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my C boy. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my C OD boy. Day we hustle, but the night we OD boy. Know that the ride or die. I'm a OD.